Repeater 06 c Demonstration video. The control panel of the van is just above the habitation door. Um, this turns on and off the van and has all our functions. To turn on the van, simply press this on here. And you can see that it is, it is now powered up. They will, when you're connected to the mains, the 230 volt, there will be a plug sign on the screen to say that you are connected. I'm not connected at the moment, so that's why it's not on. These two buttons are auxiliary buttons. They're not used for nothing. They're just two spare buttons. These is, this is for the light. Lights inside the van. This one powers the water pump. So for your fresh water and toilet water facilities, you have to have this turned on. And this is for the extractor fan to turn it on. That's the main power for the extractor fan just over the sink. Or the, sorry, the gas hub. You can then use these functions here. Lights and the fan. So remember the main power supply switch for the extractor fan is on the control panel. Here this button here tells you your fresh water level. So you're 60% full at the minute. And this one in the middle shows you your leisure battery. And that's your engine battery. Uh, the reason is 12 volts at the minute. I'm not plugged in. Once you plug the van in, it'll jump up between 13 and 14 volts. That shows you what the is van's drawn at the minute. That will be slightly lower when the van is plugged in. And that tells you your voltage of your engine battery. And here you just have your time display. Your fridge has four modes. The main supply for the fridge is gas, 230 volt and 12 volt. But this fridge is also automatic. What that means is if you turn your fridge to automatic, that will pick up the biggest power supply available for the fridge. So at the minute, as you can see, it's the gas. Because I'm not plugged into the mains. If I was plugged into the mains, the gas would cut out and the 230 volt would take over. The 12 volt only the 12 volt function only works when the engine is running. It's used for travel purposes between campsites and wherever you're heading to. So remember the 12 volt will not work unless the engine is running. So if I was to start this van now, it also would come away from gas and go on to 12 volt. That's on the automatic function. You can select manually what function you want. So that's gas. You will hear, once you go to the gas, you'll hear the clicking on the back of the fridge and the, the uh, igniter lighting up. The reason that, that will be a green light when it's plugged into the mains and once I start the van that also will be a green light. This knob here controls your temperature. It's up full there at the minute. As you can see the lights go down as, as you lower down the temperature. To open the fridge, simply pull the, the wee thing sideways and the fridge opens up. The same for the freezer and to lock it pull that back over. Your heating has two functions as well, gas and electric. Um, as you can see in the wheel here, you have this wee knob, it's pointing to gas electric 2, and or sorry, electric element 2, and below that you have electric element 1. You have two elements on the, for, the elem, for the electric so, element 1 is very low and element 2 is slightly higher. The main heat from this van will come from gas. So it's a stronger blow. So, I'll just keep it on the electric here at the moment. And the knob above that, this symbol here is for your heating. The symbol below is for heating and warm water. Above the zero, you have warm water in 40 degrees and warm water in 60 degrees. So, for the heating, just simply turn the knob down we'll put it on gas because I'm not hooked to the electric this one here in the middle controls your fan speed and heat so if you want on to warm water on gas 
you just turn to 40 degrees or 60 degrees. Usually 40 degrees will be used for washing dishes and things and 60 degrees is used for washing yourself. Below, the two symbols below here we have a mixture of gas and electric. Um, it's, it's the same thing again, gas element 1 electric and gas element 2 electric. It's very slow. It's just recommended to either use gas or electric. But as I said before, gas has the biggest glow. It's the same up here as well for the gas. Sorry, for the heating and water. It will be very slow. It's quicker to heat the van and then uh, turn the knob to heat your water. That's the USB port that was put onto the living area. As you can see, it's a double port. The beds on the on the living area, the table falls over, it doubles over. So these boys here slide in and out. Just fold over the lid. That table then pushes down. Um, this lever here goes down into the middle. comes down. Uh, then lock the lever on the far side. I'll do that now. That's what the table looks like when it's lowered down. Your cushions then from either side can be brought out to the middle. To make up the bed. The rear bed lifts up into the garage compartment and here, if you can see under the black hatches here, is where your leisure battery sits. Here you have, this is your battery charger for your leisure battery. Your fuses for all your 12 volt supply, lights of the lights, um, 12 volt sockets, water pump etc. And here is the main trip for your 230 volt. Anything that runs on the 230 volt is coming through that trap. Right into your fridge on 230 volt and your leisure battery. Sorry, one of your mains hooked up to the leisure battery. Uh, I do not have to charge through that. The other double USB above the bed is just on the left hand side in the corner. Just behind the curtain. Your freshwater tank is underneath the living area on the left hand side. You have a plug for that to drain the freshwater tank. It sits under the, this locker here, just below the sink. Is that wee red switch? Uh, turn it anti clockwise to open it. As I closed at the minute, to turn to close it, you turn it clockwise. Your boiler for the van is on the left hand side, the left side locker. Here you have a frost valve. When you're filling your van full of fresh water, make sure your red tap that I just showed you underneath the sink is closed, and this here is pulled up. Otherwise, the water will just drain straight out. The reason for the frost valve is a safety precaution. If the temperature drops below, below 2, this valve pushes down, and all the water then for the inside of the boiler. To close that, just simply pull it up. If you find it's too cold, and that does not stay up by itself, as it's because it is too cold, um, run your heating for about half an hour, and then try to pull that up. That's your crop, no problem then. During the winter, it would be recommended to empty the water off what of empty the van off fresh water simply open up the blue valve on there release your fresh water frost valve tap all the water will then drain out you can then run your taps between hot and cold 
the the van is completely empty of water. I stuffed the the pipes and tanks and the butter freezing over the winter and busting everything. Once you then free fill your fresh water tank, there will be a lot of air in the pipes. So you won't have water straight away through the taps. So simply just open up the taps between hot and cold and let the van run. It will throw a lot of water out in the air for the next for the first few minutes. I'm flowing in and out of the minute just because I have the whole van blared. Um, it will spit out a lot of air and water for the first few minutes but eventually will, the water will start flowing. Your toilet. The contents for the toilet goes into like a set. Um, you have an electric flush here, so it's up by press this button. And you can see the toilet fills up with water. To empty that, there's a grey lever just here at the front. Pull that to the side, the contents then empty in like a set. The cassette pulls out at the side of the van, I'll just show you that. But if you find that you cannot get the cassette out, it's because this lever is opened. So simply close this off and the cassette will then pull out. This is your toilet cassette. Simply pull up this yellow lever and pull out. You can then go to your nearest gully or facilities and unscrew here and pull the contents down to the nearest gully. Just on the left hand side of the van, this is the exhaust for your border. You don't have to worry about that. This is where you hook up your 230 volt. And this is where you fill your fresh water. Just use an ordinary garden hose. For your gas on the right hand side, simply to turn it on and off. Turn this knob clockwise and turn it off here now. And to open it, turn it anti clockwise. The wee yellow knob in the back here can also be pulled up. And that's the whole van turned off with gas. Now, this knob here when you're changing bottles is left hand thread. You can see the arrow here in the direction of loosening it. Sorry, closing it. So the difference is it's not lefty loosey righty tidy, it's lefty tidy righty loosey. And you have a gas fan on here for the job. Just inside the van, your reversing camera comes on automatically when you hit reverse. This port just below the gear stick is the one that's left live. And this here one lever here opens up your bonnet.